been devastating for him and our family. The impact plays over and over in his head. It'll never go away. His defense team saying Heron made a mistake and didn't fully understand the consequences that could occur while speeding. Dr. Michael Scott Mayer also testified that scientifically the brain of an 18 year old isn't fully developed and wired the same way the brain of a person in their 20s is. How could he do something so stupid? He's a bright kid. It is because the stop and think part of the brain, the frontal lobe, where we stop and think about our action is not developed. Heron's family also talked about selling their house and fighting their insurance company to get money to pay the Reisinger Robin Holt family. We also have a, a perspective on this. Um, so I don't wanna seem that I don't feel for the Heron family, I do. But their perspective on what they've lost can't compare to two sweet souls crossing the street coming home from a party. The state also pulled up a log from Heron's Mustang that details how fast it was going just days before the crash, 162 miles per hour on I-75. This was a crash, not an accident. Please be aware of that. Emotional testimony from David Robin Holt, Jessica's husband and Lilia's father went on for 45 minutes with him addressing Cameron directly several times. It is critical for you to understand that you've created everlasting pain and depths of sorrow. He described his wife, her character and personality. He then discussed how it feels to walk into his daughter's bedroom. I can't get the thought out of my head of the entitled monster who killed them. Something happens to me in this room. He says talking about the day of the crash is incredibly hard. He recalls being stuck in the traffic on Bayshore Boulevard and turning down a side street to avoid it. He says he knew something was wrong walking into Jessica's uncle's house to grab their luggage and not seeing them there. He says a stranger drove him to the hospital. I remember seeing a chaplain walk out and I knew she was dead. I can't explain to you the effort and courage it takes to walk into that morgue and see the injuries that you created on her. David, in the end, begging the judge to give Heron a maximum sentence of 30 years. The judge has yet to make a decision. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.